Hello my friends, today is well May the 26th of 2020. Uh, what I'm about to play to you played out just the second day upon my arrival to this location. Basically as soon as I made sense out of this new location here, out of this new place, clean one up, move myself in and it took me about two days to get this stuff done. Uh, I have enormously a lot of stuff with me and the place itself was not a very clean place. And so once I did this, I just walked down the street uh, to the main street here, about maybe 700 yards away, and immediately have confirmed also with the facts, beside also recognizing all the residents here in this place here, and it's quite a few. With the facts, my presence in the past in this place was subjected to MPO trauma and brought from the United States. I assume, I'm pretty sure about this stuff already sometimes since 1998 that the owner, 97, 98 is the, when the owner, this owner here, have purchased most likely this place here. Okay? So, as early as this, no, we did not come here in 97, if it happened in 97, that he purchased, I think, in 97. Um, but, once he started to fix little by little, probably sometimes in 98, 99, 98, I even assume, we already were here. Yeah, I think it took him about two years, but I think it was actually less than two years before we would actually pop up here less less than that it was less it was not two years it was less few months actually i think six months or something like this uh regardless of it the audio recording you're about to hear goes all the way to may 7 of 2020 this is when the audio recording was done on the audio recording i recognize two workers i obviously made a mistake because the other worker, I did not even bother to ask her. And I didn't bother to ask her because I have identified so many people. I have so many audio recordings about this that it basically made me no, no sense whatsoever to even go and, you know, try her. But I did the younger one. I tried to prove my point pointing out that she was at the store location already since the beginning of the opening of the store. And you are going to hear this stuff. And she says, no, I've been only here since 2017, I think she says. Um, the thing about her is that I know her already for, from MK Ultra for God knows how long. This girl is not too far from here. This is a very, very local girl who used to hang around in this local uh, place before even the renovation, like a major renovation. This whole area looked completely different before Americans appear in the picture here. Uh, in the same street, in just a few meters from there, um, you have businesses everywhere, all over. The whole street financially gained tremendously with the parents of Americans. In fact, there is, what is it exactly? What dealer is it? I'm not sure. Maybe even Jeep or something like this. I don't know. Then there is Mercedes on the road and stuff like this. Uh, a lot of problems, conflicts, all kinds of stuff went on here. A little civil war. Um, and so because of this, because of this little gangs, little kids would gather together because I always, she always was in the picture. I actually even assumed that she was inside of the work, in the store, that she worked there since the beginning of the store. Now when the store was open, I don't know. I think it was open in 2010. But sure I'm not. I think it was in 2010, but I'm not sure. I didn't ask about that either. Um, what's important is as soon as I step out, I get a little bit agitated when I get like, uh, you know, 
no, I'm only here three years and stuff like this. By the way, I gotta come back and ask her where in the vicinity she lives here. Because I need the answer, confirmation from her. I'm gonna ask her how far from the store she lives, one thing, and the second, the older lady who worked that night with her, she was the one who did work in the store from the beginning of the store. I remember both, and the older one definitely was inside of the store from the beginning of the store, from the store opening. Now, because I didn't get 100%, in fact, seems like I would get everything wrong, I walked just right, right next to the store, and I see two cars parked. These are German cars, but not the regular German cars. These are from cars from Eastern Germany, from the old Eastern Germany, Deutsche Demokratische Republik, DDR. The name of the vehicles, brand Trabant. The car lovers, I'm sure you have heard about this kind of cars. Uh, really, really unique Eastern German cars. I, I remember properly, actually the frame is plastic or something like this. Um, the owner of this shop, which opened before the shop that you're about to see on the opposite side of the road, not street, but just the road, um, has been there first way prior to the dealership that is next the popped up then afterwards next to one this is a man in his ah this is a man i have not seen him but this is a man in his probably now 60s he must be about 60 something over and he always had a beard this man and i believe this man told me that when he finished his work in Western Germany, he would drive back to Poland for the last time from Western Germany and on his way through the what used to be the DDR, he would stop by and he would purchase himself a Trabant, I think. I think it was something like this. So this cars must be there before 2000 something like this in that sense not only 2005 but because of what i got so negative i got a little bit afraid i have to say that i get very cautious about what i say and they have been parked ever since in the same space parking space the same parking space too now what's a little bit more important and i hope this is going to eventually help to the world especially because of the news I have released yesterday about the Wuhan, which I have identified. I have identified Wuhan labs, and I have identified Wuhan labs through the Wuhan labs director. The lady was involved in MKUltra. I know her husband. I have posted this on my news site. I have completely explained in details what the situation is. And at this opportunity, I would like to thank Mr. Xi Jinping, Chinese president, for his help. It's a great help because I was the only person who claimed the coronavirus was made in the United States of America. And I was very, very with the precision about the global neo Nazi plan, globalist plan, colonialist agenda. The only person who talked about it with a precision, pointing out. And I did so because they wanted me to do so. They wanted me to promote the news from through my site and they want to even purchase insurance so that nothing would happen today if things would go wrong through my news site. This is why it was so important for them, for me to remember the events and they would only talk about the stuff, communicate with one another whenever I would publish the stuff through my news site. Would like to thank Mr. Hinpeng for this news, which in fact I have released the day prior to the Chinese media, which of course, this is what I anticipated would confront Wuhan director, 
Wuhan Labs director in respect to coronavirus. Evidently, when director makes such a statement that they never heard for one, um, they didn't ever meet and talk about this kind of it's like a self-incremental statement. And it's something I was also warned about will happen. Therefore, this was also placed on a table during MK Ultra as a last opportunity for humanity to do something about it. If humanity is not going to do anything about this at this point in time, it, it will be like Mr. Jinping suggested, Jinping suggested himself. We don't like Nazism, we disagree with it. But we had to agree that if absolutely nothing will be done in respect to one from the side of American people, if there is nothing you can do to stop one, if they are basically unwilling to stop one, in that case we have to go along with the people who financed, or I should say helped rebuild Chinese economy. It's the same situation with the Russians. And by God, I'm not going to go against Polish people pushing Poland and Ukraine into war with China, Russia, entire Western Europe, and United States of America on top of it. If American people don't even have an individual politician, whoever, or don't have what it takes to express consideration, admission for this MK Ultra case, uh, there are also other international channels that are in, uh, implicated in this. It's also media, it concerns Africa, it concerns South America, it concerns that population agenda that should be really, really concerned about my news site. If they don't want to get implicated in this stuff, I will also not push Poland and Ukraine any further into conflict with, with others. Uh, it is just a simple for me to agree with the words of Mr. Jinping, in that case, I will say, I did my best. Uh, I lost 25 years of life. As you have seen on my new site, I have posted you exactly the exact amount of uh, money contributions I got from uh, my new site viewers. It's exactly zero cents. I will not even go into dollar. We are talking about the cents throughout all this time. Ended up with a broken spine and will not confront, will not go any further into any kind of issues like this for the cost of some kind of uh, vodka bus spent at the local um, convenience shop. I will not be doing this kind of stuff. If people don't know where the limits are, um, you know, this is, this is, obviously this is not something that I want to have anything to do with. I'm going to put it this way. Or people, for that matter, I care for. As simple as this. And it is, in fact, through this last news and through this very video I'm posting it right now, that American politicians such as Obama will have, in fact, the opportunity, as he alone gestured, he spent at this location more, this location right here, more than anywhere else. On any other location, he knew about all location and the other location, but he did not, locations, but he did not spend no time more anywhere other in Poland than in this place here. This is a place that fits in uh, somehow other, people's, other people wonder about that too. Is it perhaps because the south side of Luoch or whatever it is? I don't know. Mechanic, I'm talking about, I have just spoken about, in fact, ensured by parking the Chrysler 300, which Obama also drove in Poland, was parked in that opportunity too when I arrived here uh, at this location. Polish people did whatever they possibly could. Polish government, Kaczynski, Duda, Morawiecki involved villains in it. Villains supported by other foreign governments, including Polish one, 
to cause as much as possible harm, to turn me against the Polish people, to push me out of the Poland, to do whatever it takes to cause as much possible harm. The Polish people alone only had the right to say that much and that much. Basically, whenever it was possible to identify, whenever it was possible, they would give the confirmations, they would give their, they would confirm with their accounts, witnessing my account of story, but it's only that far they were allowed to go. I understand now the whole thing a little bit better. And myself, as far as myself, like I have well explained, I myself will also not commit myself into something, um, like I said, for the sake of uh, some alcohol sold in, in, in a local convenience stores and stuff like this. If the people are not, people of the United States of America are not willing to take justice in their own hands, which I'm certain will be supported by international public, but without any kind of effort, you know, there is only that much I can go as far as I can go, okay? So yeah, the vehicle you're gonna see, it was driven by Mr. Barack Obama. He was here. He in fact promised me would do something about it in case I would actually manage to get as far as this location here. And I not only managed to get as far as this location, Mr. Himping, Himping and myself have given a real chance for something to be done against people that are pushing humanity, I'm not going to say on the edge, but literally, well, about 2 billion people are listed to go. It's called the population agenda. And it's coming. What you are seeing are just the beginnings. It's started with a few deaths. Then we got coronavirus, you see? And it's going to get more and more. Just like I told you two years ago already, it's going to get faster and faster and faster. You're going to completely lose the track. Already now, so many people are dead. You're going to see what is about to happen if nothing is going to be done about it. The only people in the U.S. I embrace as a politician at this point are Barack Obama, Nancy Pelosi, Mrs. Harris down in California, and watch yourself out, please. And Alexander Ocasio Cortez. There are other good Democrats too, but because of these insurance issues, I have very sincere doubts about really what went on, who is what is. Uh, yeah, the girls agree, they confirm my account in Polish language, of course that the dealer was that before the big dealership, a small mechanical shop, small mechanic shop with the two cars was there before the big dealership and the cars were already there parked like this 15 years ago, basically in 2005. And believe me, they were already there since 2000, and 2000 for sure, 2000. Okay, that's all I gotta say. Um, the rest are just audios. I demonstrate the location where this happened uh, where this took place the second day upon my arrival to this location here. I got nothing else to say to you other than God bless you. Uh, take care of yourself. Uh, these two Trabants, from what I remember actually, this, these two Trabants were brought from Eastern Germany, literally by the owner upon the fall of the Iron Curtain, if I, I remember this properly. He would brought them here. Or maybe it was not exactly like this, but this was like super, super early. And they sit here in this place, yeah, since from forever. This is basically owner of this shop. And this is a new dealership right here across. It's not new, no way. But this one here, this is a really old one. So, so that I remember. The one who drilled me about this issue is American. So this is this Trabant sit there for a very, very long time. There is a Chrysler part right there, 300, and that's what's supposed to remind me of Obama. Yup. Okay, this basically is where I live at, right here. It will be something like this here. Okay. Now, the area I'm talking about is, eventually it's right here. Right here, this 
what you see right here and it happened so that this was in a like a convenience store like this here uh, let me demonstrate this is like a store equivalent to 7-eleven let's say this is the store evidently this store came to life in 2013 not even in 2010 in fact I will try to do something here when I came first here when we would come first here um, this this place here I'm about to demonstrate to you this was a grass basically it's like a grass field all this that you see here this this stuff that you see here there was none here you understand when I came here first there was nothing here there was this thing here you see this 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 thing was here but other than that all this new asphalt all this it ended right here all this new everything you see here this building is all new when I came here all this was a grass here everything was a grass okay what was here however okay this parking here obviously all new all new sometimes you know what I think it was done in 2000 and maybe 10 something like this 2008 2010 was this here renovated what was here at this place at this place I'm not even certain about that there was a building here and I'm completely uncertain of it what I remember the most of this of this whole thing here just want to make sure about this stuff here yeah hell you cannot even see it here anywhere um, there was like a like a big big table here like a sign where people would put like local ads and stuff like this okay uh, I honestly I yet have to go over have to return here close my eyes stand in front of it a little bit and think over uh, what you have just heard me talking about right now came to me while recording this video this is how it works on Ultra. this is how things are so honestly I still have to come back here and see it with from different perspective it's MK Ultra is very very um, it's a stuff this is this here this area that you see here they used to call this like a little America here because all the businesses came to life when Donald Trump was here everything started to develop here grow people started to see opportunity in the private sector instead rather than work for somebody and just maybe one and a half mile from here you can eventually even see what is otherwise very unusual for Poland you can actually even see I think it's a Jeep dealership or something like that which is like kind of a really really strange stuff for Poland yeah it is eventually it's actually even Jeep that made it here okay so yeah a little further down is Mercedes and so on and so forth this is called a really a little America and it's a little America with a good reason because it's so many Americans that were here so this is basically the location where this thing was filmed just giving you an idea and this is maybe the last MK Ultra location in Poland this one is supposed to be the last one uh, this is where you come from the main street and just about maybe 
I don't know, maybe two blocks up there is basically where I am located at, okay? But so this is, they have, they, they told me they're going to leave this here to remind me when I come basically where I am. And they did. This thing stands here, well, since from forever. And the thing about it is, that this is not the only thing that's here. They have left some other stuff to remind me about my whereabouts here too. Я заехал сюда в такси купать хлеб. Революционные, ученые подобные. Вот я заехал в жабки. Я вам там все старый
Tak. A jeden jest po dwa. Ale nie ma tego tutaj. Nie Nie, nie, Aha, tylko ale... ten jest, to 320. Aha, ale... No tak, to jest ważne. 6,98. No tak, to jest ważne. No tak, to jest ważne.
Współpracy to nie jest 10 lat, tak? Nie pracy to dużo lat, tak? tak? Dużo lat pracy. No, no, no. 10 lat w pracy to jest? Nie, mniej. Mniej? Ale ile lat? Dobrze, bardzo dziękuję Wam. To by nas od początku tego sklepu pracy Nie. Nie? Nie. Ten sklep dopiero 7 lat. 7 lat? 5 lat pracy. Nie. Jeszcze nie pracuje 5 lat? Nie, 3 lata. 3 lata, bardzo dziękuję. Ok, dobrze, dziękuję. get themselves into this one, but I'm going to give it a shot. Told me that this shop here with a lot of shops here, just a little shop, that you have to put a bunch, right? I'm not mistaken. It's like a... Ah. I see a shop, and this, this Trabant must have been here already since then forever. There are two of them. What kind of play is it? Well, 
Kaptan. Dede Eğer. Barış Ali Mutabı Şehret'in Dede. This starts a year already part for like at least, at least, at least, I'm going to tell you what, at least 10 years. And probably this car has bought here already in 2006. Wow, that, that sounds great. And the this shop was actually before here, the this shop actually existed before the big one here. The, 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 the opposite here is the Kia. This is going to be interesting. This is here in the main street. I don't want to find out about it, but this is really... Drop them, not for sure. This girl hanged around much earlier than in 2017. Much earlier, much, much, much earlier. 2013, 2010 already. She is not that old, but she is not that young either. Might have worked in the store in another location. Occasionally here. Ten sklep to samochodowy, co jest. Jest jedynie tak starszy sklep i na trzecich do tego sklepa jest Kia, dealer. Ale ten, co ma ten stare samochody, Trabante, to już miał u 2006 roku tam parkerowane, tak? No. Było tak? Było. Było. Nie, cały czas. Przepraszam? Nie, cały czas. Tak jest, nie? I on był przed tym sklepem Kija tam, miał ten mały sklep, tak? Do ładowania jest kumowa i dostanę patyczkę? Dobra noc. I was 100% correct about this statement as well, so then somebody come and tell I was not here. So you're talking about 2006, my pointing out the situation. And let me tell you, it was before that. Because it was before that, but I just wanted to make sure I'm not going to miss this. So there you have. Somebody has questions of any kind. Okay, so this was it. This was, today is... Today still is May the 7th. Uh, it's actually yesterday that I arrived to this location here, this beautiful location here, that is just plenty full of proofs, I mean, because the stuff that I see, the memory just spins around, 
In this occasion, there was an American general. Now, this gentleman gestured once that I'm not a material for anything. I'm not going to make it anything like this. It's nothing I can do and this and that. It came to me at the end of my cleaning this place, which now finally is clean. And 100% better so than what he did. And he did without the injuries. They have preserved them really well. They gave them instructions. He didn't even last in Grotniki like I did and so on. Didn't go through 10% of what I did. But anyways. On this audio you have what it took to actually clean this place nicely. That's nice time. You can see that. Um, in addition to yesterday, which I did quite considerable, I also cleaned the car today. And um, what else can I say? Uh, you got a proof about the store with the cars. Um, you can put that online anytime you want. Um, several people, they tried to, some they even tried to plant, you did identify the neighbor right across the street. That's a good one, but he was already involved, he's 23 years old, was already got involved in this, believe it or not, when he was 14 years old, when he was 14 years old, this is how young, at least 16, okay, so that's like, they were like 7, but I, I can tell you that, no way, in 2010, meaning that his house was basically the last one, and I'm still going to go and ask him about that. He was probably 14, and right across the street, and he was the owner who came to help. He was motivated and helping me out, and he just wanted to get involved as many people as possible. And these people here in the streets, they helped out, they, they got involved in it. Uh, lots of people came with all kinds of issues. This, this is my like first day, I yet have to see what's going on around here. I see a table that is uh, tipped over, uh, some kind of sign, something like this, that I'm just going to go over, I'm going to tell you, this was already in 2006-2005, I got to speed my memory. This place is like full of the stuff, and I'm amazed, they, they just left this here, definitely waited for me. At the end of the street, there's a little 